Well, welcome back. So the biggest news in the soccer world, also making waves in the cryptocurrency community, Lionel Messi's deal to join Paris Saint-Germain, including a sign-on fee that includes payment fan tokens that is reportedly worth 29 to $35 million. Joining me right now is Matthew Rozak, chairman of the Chamber of Digital Commerce and Block chairman and co-founder. Matthew, it's great to have you this morning. Thanks very much for being here. What you make of uh, this new contract with, with digital currency in there? Uh, I guess earlier in the week, we also heard that AMC was going to be ex uh, accepting Bitcoin for just to go to the movies. Uh, interesting to see these two developments. Uh, thanks for having me, Maria. And yeah, this, this is the um, the tokenization of things. And, and Paris Saint-Germain has fan tokens. And, and what does that actually mean? Uh, these fan tokens actually behave like mileage points for these ecosystems. And so they create incentives for uh, fans to do things like, uh, like a tweet or participate in things, and then also get rewarded. And so these tokens will start to have a, uh, a real market value where fans could trade this, use it to buy things, and becomes a currency within these ecosystems. And I think it's very smart and astute for Messi uh, to participate in that, because as these uh, ecosystems and the value of these clubs goes up, I think there's going to be a direct relationship on uh, these fan tokens. And we're seeing more and more Messi's and Tom Brady's and a lot of these uh, uh, athletic and, and kind of celebrity influencers coming into uh, crypto. And it's, uh, it's great to see from an education standpoint. So is, is there enough liquidity here? I mean, look, we obviously saw the quarterly numbers from Coinbase this week. Uh, Coinbase taking advantage of the rise in interest in, in crypto, uh, reporting a $1.6 billion quarterly profit. Those numbers were incredible. That was a profit at Coinbase. I guess that in and of itself tells you that there is, that there is liquidity here. But what, what's your take? What, what does the Coinbase success tell you about where this market is today? Stock is up two and a two-thirds percent, by the way, right now. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it had a monster quarter. Um, but what I like seeing out of the data was they have 56 million uh, users. And I think Coinbase is going to behave a little differently over time because they have a, they're going to be looked upon as a fintech. Uh, as a SaaS company, there's a lot of recurring revenue and infrastructure they provide, and then like a social media company. So I think those the intersection of all three is what Coinbase is going to look like over time. Uh, crypto is very social. Uh, and look, it's got a $70 billion market cap. Um, it's got 220 plus billion of uh, crypto on its balance sheet. That's about 11% of the entire crypto market cap. So Coinbase is always going to be looked upon as a blue chip for Wall Street and a barometer for this industry. And in its second quarter, it's uh, really uh, done an amazing job. James Freeman, jump in here. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I'm wondering about uh, crypto as a currency, given the way the IRS treats it, uh, potentially uh, triggering capital gains taxes when people use it. Does it is it really uh, unlikely to be a currency in the U.S.? And, and how does it work overseas if Messi wants to spend some of those uh, crypto dollars? Uh, is he going to be paying capital gains taxes whenever he buys the next house or sports car? Yeah, a great question. And, and I mean, in the U.S., it's uh, there's very uh, good clarity on Bitcoin. It's taxed as property. But, you know, going back last week, we had this infrastructure bill that was getting bobbled around uh, D.C. And, you know, there's some potential for bad regulation out there. Uh, but uh, we, we have some amazing people within Congress uh, working with the industry. Uh, Senator Cynthia Lummis, Warren Davidson. We have a blockchain caucus. And look, we, we have to be careful. We need to get this right. Otherwise, a lot of this innovation will go offshore. And uh, we have an amazing opportunity on the scale of uh, the Internet 20 plus years ago uh, to kind of yeah. play into this new uh, DeFi world and this new Web3 world. Okay. We're going to keep looking at that infrastructure package.